Welcome back. It is 425 on this Monday morning. If your exercise routine has fallen by the wayside during the pandemic, <laughs> here's another reason to get back into the gym. Now, researchers in Dallas have found that fitness is more important than ever before, despite today's modern medicine. Bianca Castro reports. With COVID-19 changing exercise habits for so many, it's no surprise our bodies have changed too. This is the first time I've been dressed up in a year and I found my pants were a little snugger this morning when I put them on. Cooper Clinic's Dr. Steve Farrell can relate, but is also behind new research suggesting that exercise is still a powerful weapon for good health. The Cooper Clinic followed 24,000 men for almost 30 years and compared those health records to those of a group the same size from the 70s and 80s. And what we found in both groups is that fitness remains just as important today in the era of modern medicine as it did back in the 70s and 80s. Right. And that's because even in a world with treatments like statins and stents, exercise raises good cholesterol, lowers blood sugar levels, and helps prevent eight different cancers. The importance of fitness in your overall lifestyle for preventing premature disease and death cannot be overestimated. It's extremely important to try to be physically active on most days of the week. Well, in more COVID health news, India confirmed nearly 350,000 new COVID cases yesterday. That's 350,000 new cases in one day, a world record since the start of the pandemic. As a result, the country's hospitals are running low on oxygen. India's military has stepped in to help transport oxygen containers to critical areas. But there's still a shortage at some hospitals, forcing them to ration oxygen for some patients. Parts of Italy are preparing to ease COVID restrictions today. This is because of the low number of infections. The rule changes will allow restaurants and bars to continue outdoor table services and theaters and concert halls are able to open their doors. They have been closed since last October. And back here at home, Michigan is the new hotspot for COVID infections and hospitalizations. The state of Michigan has recorded 91,000 new COVID cases over the last two weeks the highest in the nation. Medical professionals blame the surge on more ca contagious variants of COVID, the state easing restrictions on crowd limits and COVID fatigue. One in five Americans still say they're not likely to get vaccinated. It's part of a concerning trend we've even been seeing here in central Indiana as fewer people make appointments to get vaccinated. But there are places making it easy for you to get your COVID shot this week. The Indianapolis Motor Speedway is one of them. There are still appointment spots available for the single dose Johnson and Johnson shot. Now you do need to be 18 or older to get the J and J. They'll be offering that shot through Thursday. Then on Friday, this speedway is holding a family day with a Pfizer vaccine, which has been approved for kids who are 16 and 17. You will need an appointment for that one as well.